Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo, and today's super tasty, sexy date dish, we are making a Vietnamese-style marinated pork chop with scallion salad and a little bit of sauteed choy sum. So, what do I need to make this dish? A few simple items. I got my pork chop, you can use pork loin, you can use pork ribs, whatever. I have scallions, and any type of scallions will do. This is a beautiful Asian scallion. I believe they call it long scallions. And I also have my choy sum, which is flowering cabbage, also in Asian grocery stores. But if you don't wanna to travel to an Asian grocery store, why bother? You can use broccoli rabe, you can use spinach, you can use uh, regular bok choy or Swiss chard. It'll all work. We have some red chili peppers to make a super special spicy hot sauce, which you'll find on my bootleg tip. Garlic, sugar, rice vinegar, soy sauce, and fish sauce, and a little bit of lime also. Okay, let's get cooking. So, I'm gonna get my glove on, get up my pork, get it marinated, I always say at least 30 minutes to marinate something. Next, we get a little bit of soy. I do about two tablespoons. You can use the white sugar. I also recommend brown sugar. I've got about a quarter of a cup in there. I like to use a lot of fish sauce. So again, about a quarter of a cup. Rice wine vinegar, not so much. Two tablespoons. And also, a little bit of lime. And this I do about one teaspoon. Now, you can add scallions or shallots. Either way, it's still gonna work. I like to use the white ends of the ends. The white ends of the ends. I used to find like the white part of the scallion because that way I don't have to go and use 300,000 things. It's gonna give still a little bit of a flavor. I got approximately, let's say, one tablespoon worth. In it goes, and I mix, and I set aside, and that's it. Let it marinate, let these bad boys get some flavor. Okay, bye bye. Now let's make that scallion salad. Flavor. Don't have to make it too fancy, let's get rid of those. Get rid of the white parts, never throw away your white parts, leave them, because you can use it for other things. And some beautiful green parts. And in the bowl it goes. So, rice wine, three tablespoons, fishy sauce, two tablespoons. And I'll give you a little squeeze of lime, one teaspoon, oh, sesame seed oil. And that's it. Wait a minute, salt. And that's gonna sit, and it'll wilt a little bit from the acid. And we're ready to go for the salad. Okay, done. Everything's ready, and now we're gonna get to the stove as soon as my meat has been marinated. We're at the stove, my pans are nice and hot. I am gonna add a little bit of oil. And here we go, you ready? Now, pork this thick needs to be cooked for a while, so I'm going to say it in around 10 minutes, but I like my pork a little pink because I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of the bugs. There's no bugs in my pork. So I will have a little pink. You want it well done, you cook it well done, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, for me, again, I'm going to do maybe about an eight minute cook, so four minutes on each side. And if in doubt, rather than standing over a hot stove, make sure your oven is on to about 500 degrees and make sure your pan is oven wearable, oven doable. So after you sear it on both sides, just stick it in your oven and the heat from the oven will cook it through. Okay, so my pork is getting nice and seared and I'm going to go ahead and start to get my trisome. Again, oil in the pan. Be very careful. If you have any type of moisture left on your choice, some you will create a splatter and burn yourself. No, no. All right, here we go. In goes the choice some. My garlic I will put in last. Okay. 
in my pie slime, I will add some fish sauce and a smidgen of sesame seed oil. And a smidgen of salt. Nice color. Nice color. And off the heat. I don't want this on too long. Now we're just going to wait for the pork, and I'm going to do it the way I talked about. We're going to get it in that oven and let it cook for just a few more minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and start plating. Pork is out of the oven and ready to go. So let's plate and make a sexy, sexy dish. All right, so I got my choisson. I'm going to put it at the bottom here. Then we're going to take the beautiful pot Place it right on top. Then, just gonna get a little bit of this scallion salad. Oh, what the heck enough. And this is a super sexy looking plate. Now it's time to taste this bad boy. All right, here we go. I like the fat, so I'm going in for a piece of fat and meat at the same time. That is perfectly cooked, if I don't say so myself. Well, this, hold up, well that, and some of my super duper bootleg burn your mouth off hot sauce. Ready? A little bit on there. My scallion salad. Don't eat like me, I'm just a little sloth here. Hold The vinegariness of, is that a word? Yes, it is. I just made it up. The vinegariness. Vinegariness of the onions along with that little sharp bite from it. And the fish sauce marinated pork chop. I'm gonna choy some. I'm telling you right now, this is a dish. I'm gonna impress, get you into their. Yes, that's what I say hearts. I don't know what you thought I was going to say, but I was going to say hearts. With the hot sauce, super delicious, and I will see you next time with another super tasty dish. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMay, and welcome to Bootleg Tip. Today we are making a super tasty hot sauce, Vietnamese style or Asian style, however you want to call it.